Hey, what's up, guys? Freddie from H-Town Model Shop. Um, so I've, I've been away for a while, man, I know, but I've been uh, doing some um, small stuff here and there. Um, I'm working on this project here for uh, Pete with uh, ScaleWorld.net. And um, this is a 1939 Chevy Coupe uh, by Ravel. And um, this is where I'm at so far with it. Um, I still got to uh, cut um, the clear on the body. Um, that's the first coat of clear. And I got to cut it and then uh, shoot a flow coat on it. And then cut it again and then buff it out. So hopefully it'll, it'll do me right. There's a bunch of... Uh, uh, I don't know what I had. I think my hardener was going bad or something. So um, anyways, uh, it should work out pretty good. It's... As you can see, it's not the greatest of uh, of uh, finishes, but uh, that's just the first the first coat. The clear coat always looks like that on my first coats, and then uh, I just cut it, and then I flow coat it after that. Um, but uh, it is uh, I wound up using gold, uh, solar gold by um, House of Color as the base and then I did my tape off on uh on the line gold lines there uh and then I used uh, uh brandy wine is the color that I used on this um I uh, sectioned the hood um and I added the the see-through uh vents there on the hood as you can see um that part won't be shown, but this is what I did to make it look like that, I guess, if you will. Uh, focus. But, uh, so, this part won't be seen. You just see it like this. This needs to be bare metal foiled after I get it all cut and polished out and stuff. Um, so, I'm thinking that, that should look pretty good. Uh, and this is going to sit. This is going to sit kind of like... They're both gonna sit up like a angel. Uh, I don't know. I call them angel, angel wings, kind of like that on the hood. Anyways, uh, it's harder for me to explain and sh I mean and show you, and you'll see when it's done. Um, but uh, yeah, I got the. This is not gonna be hinged. It's gonna be static. And I got this hinged, um, so that'll be, uh, has some goodies in the back. So, let me move this aside and bring this over. And this is just the, uh, the chassis with the, um, well, I guess the rolling chassis, I guess if you will. I shot, uh, everything that's chrome, I shot it with, uh, the Molotov refill. And uh, dried out, sub dried out substantially on that. The color of the motor is the same as the um, car. Uh, oh, wrong way. Man. So I don't know what's up with this, but uh, anyways, uh, I stripped everything down, even the. Even the, uh, how about that? Even the blower and stuff, and then shot it again with Molotov, and then uh, I uh, black washed everything. Uh, the carburetors are some resin pieces that I had, and then uh, of course I lined it, uh, the inside of them with uh, some al aluminum tubing, and just to kind of make the make it pop, you can't see it here too good, but. Uh, then I put some watch parts on it that li lined up very well. You know they they look good. They're not perfect, but they're they're good. Um, and then uh, of course the uh, the distributor. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, it's just you know nothing too fancy going on down here. So, um, uh, so that's pretty much it for this. Uh, you stand by, I'm going to make another video and uh, 
get it uploaded right after this. See you.